Well, in our African memories, nothing concerning African heroes have been valued. That's where I think this film is very, very important. Semben, single-handedly, almost I would say with his bare hand, created African cinema. <laughs> For me, Semben is a dreamer. He, despite all the predicaments of Africa, he dreams about another Africa. And he represents that Africa in his movies. So my name is uh, Samba Gajigo. I'm professor of African literature and film at uh, Mount Julio College. And I also like to dub myself as the official biographer of Senegalese writer and filmmaker Usman Semben. He turned around without any formal education. He appropriated the pen, the language of the master, and the instrument of the master, and set out over 50 years to tell African stories. It would be fair to say Semben did at the cultural level what Mandela did at the political level. Now that Semben is dead, who should pass all those stories? That's where my partners, Jason Silverman, and Edwina White and I come in. My name is Jason Silverman and I am the writer, co-writer, co-director, co-producer of the film Sunday. We wanted to find a way to tell the story that reflected the way some men told his stories, which were stories you know, told from people's own perspective. The story is being told by an animated narrator, a fictional character. He walks through a landscape and realizes that the young people are not engaging with African culture, they're engaging with the globalized culture. And he sits down and says, I'm going to tell you a story of some I'm going to tell you a story about African cultures. We call this film a uh, documentary inside a folk tale. My name's Edwin White. I uh, am making constructed imagery for the Semben documentary. I wanted a real truth to materials. I wanted to use magazines from Dakar and work out what the style was. And I really wanted to stick with the flavour, which is kind of a retro, because the films begin in the 60s. And the early ones, like Black Girl, are like French New Wave. Groovy is a groovy guy. So I wanted to have these uh, moments within the film of animation that are like old postcards that move just slightly. My name is Keisha Cameron Dingle, and I'm the producer of Sem Ben, the documentary. Sem Ben's legacy is really all of our legacies and it's important for filmmakers, young and old, to get exposed to the life of a great filmmaker and the great films that he produced because they'll speak for generations to come. That's the great thing about his work is that it really holds up. You know, you watch Black Girl today and that film holds up. What do we hope to accomplish through this film? It is a gift to my children. It is not only African youth, it is youth or in the world at a time when the official media are used more to dumb our youth than to wake them up. We hope this documentary will make our youth understand that storytelling can be a weapon of liberation. <laughs>